Making lives work. Making lives work. Oh. Here it is. Together we make lives work. Making lives work. I was born with a malformation in my brain. The doctors told me it was more dangerous to operate than to just leave it there. And so it was only a 2% chance of anything bad happening. At a very young age, Tia Hine was about to experience the fifth leading cause of death and a major cause of adult disability in the United States. She had a stroke. When I was about 22, I was a senior in college and I had a stroke. My roommate was a nursing major and she found me within 15 minutes and so she rushed me to the hospital and that was about three years ago. The stroke affected the right side of Tia's body. It went limp and it was three weeks before she could even speak. And then it slowly came back. And I'm still in occupational therapy for my right arm. And um, I can now walk and talk, obviously. Tia says she has discovered ways to adapt to this big change in her life. And she feels other stroke survivors can too. There you go. I've learned adaptation strategies and ways to overcome or compensate for my inability to use my right arm. I feel like I'm about 10% slower than I was before. I have to really plan out my time, but I do know that there are hard days and there's days that you do want to give up. Now a stroke survivor, she returned to college in California. I had the mindset that I am going to overcome this and that to keep pushing forward and I never ever gave up. As soon as it happened, I told myself, I'm going to beat this thing, I'm going to get on with it in my life, I'm young, I'm going to graduate from college, I'm going to have a career, and here I am. Three years have gone by and Tia is still working hard at her recovery. Now I'm gaining more function in my shoulder, my bicep and tricep, and now uh, my occupational therapist and I are working on um, upward reach, forearm, wrist extension, and um, soon we're gonna be working on fingers. I think my care circle, the people around me, were extremely influential. My mom, my grandparents, um, my friends, my neighbors, they always were around supporting me and they never let me look back. Ultimately, they helped this young woman make her life work again. I'm happy with where I'm at.